In this short video, I'll be showing you how to set up and install the SourceMogul Chrome extension. So if you've logged into SourceMogul recently, you may have spotted a new panel on the dashboard page. The Chrome extension is our new feature that allows you to pull down product information from pretty much any retailer or wholesaler website for comparison against Amazon. There's no additional charge for this software and it's included as part of your subscription. So looking at the dashboard page, under the Chrome extension panel, you'll see two buttons. One says get started, the other says my custom sites. We'll cover my custom sites later, but to begin with, let's have a look at getting started. So I've now been directed to the Chrome extension section under settings. If you want to navigate here separately, you click on account, then settings, and then click the Chrome extension icon on the left hand side here. There's a text guide on the left hand side and there's also your own personal Chrome key on the right hand side. You can click the link here to be directed to the Chrome store to install the extension. Once you click the link, you'll be redirected to the Google Chrome web store where you can install the extension by clicking the button here. There will be a pop-up that asks you to add the extension to your browser. Click this to continue. Once added, SourceMogul will now appear under your Extensions menu. You can create a shortcut for the Chrome extension by clicking the Extensions menu and then clicking the pin icon as shown. When you click the SourceMogul icon, you'll be presented with a pop-up that asks you to enter a key. This is the key that I showed previously in the Chrome extension page within the app, but you can also click the Get Key link where you can copy and paste into this window. Okay, so let's get started. You'll now be presented with two options. You can either start tagging a new site or you can view our pre-map sites back in SourceMogul. Let's have a look at some of the pre-map sites to see what we can do. Heading back into SourceMogul under the Start Search menu option, you can navigate to Buy Chrome Extension. Under the Chrome extension section, you'll see that we have a selection of sites. You can see My Sites, which are sites that you yourself have set up. We'll come back to this later. For now, let's have a look at pre-map sites. And you can see that we have over 200 pre-map sites that we've set up for you to use. So let's take one of these sites. So I'm going to search here for Target. I'm going to click this to be redirected to the Target website. Okay, so now that we've landed on the target.com website, the first thing to understand about the Chrome extension is that it's really important to identify the correct pages to use that give you the best chance of finding profitable products. On most websites, this would be the clearance or deal section. So we'll head there to begin with. It's also important to ensure that you only use the SourceMogul Chrome extension on category pages. The Chrome extension works by pulling information down from pages in bulk, capturing the title, the price, and various other bits of information. By using category pages, you can maximize the amount of information that's pulled down per page. So I'm going to click the Source Mogul button in the top here, and you'll see that it says, this is a site that we currently analyze. So we have the option to enter a discount percentage here to begin with. But I think for now, let's just go ahead and start to pull down some information. We'll simply click Start. So you can see that the Chrome extension has now pulled down information from that page. And we've gathered information on 24 products in just a couple of seconds. As you can see, this is much faster than doing it yourself. So we'll now head through page by page and start to pull this information down as we go. You'll see that we now have 48 products. And I'll just work my way through some of these pages to gather as much information as we possibly can. Okay, so we sped up the video a little bit there, but you can see that I've clicked through 16 pages, but I've now gathered 384 products. So we can click on the SourceMogul S and then complete to see this information in SourceMogul. By clicking view, we can then be redirected into SourceMogul where the search will start to run and compare pricing against Amazon. 
Once your search is complete, it will appear here in the completed searches section under search status. You can either click view to have a look at the information from this particular search, or you can navigate to the results section and click Chrome extension to see all results gathered across all websites where we've used the Chrome extension. So we can see here that there's some results from the Disney store. These are some results that I ran a little earlier today. So we can see that we already have some products here for comparison. Um, and let's just scroll a little further down and see what we have from Target. So here we go. We can see here that we have, even from that small number of results that we pulled through, we can see that we've identified a product here that we can buy for $16.99 and sell on for $35 with a $7.07 profit, albeit with a low sales per month. But it does take a little bit of time and effort to understand the right types of sites for you to use. Today I've just used the clearance section of Target, but you should be searching for products that suit your strategy. It's also important to point out that some products are very difficult to match. So for example, clothing with the description black t-shirt would be difficult to match against the correct product in Amazon. Whereas something like this that shows Garden of Life organic protein powder is much easier for us to identify against the correct product in Amazon. So once you've identified a product that may be of interest, these can be analyzed in exactly the same way by looking at the price and sales rank history, and of course, accessing all of the other information that we currently display around the Amazon listing. Okay, so moving on from here, now let's have a look at how we can run a different site that we don't currently analyze. So right at the beginning of this video, we focused on some of the advantages of using the Chrome extension. So in addition to scanning sites for the latest deals, as we showed on the Target website, the real advantage to the Chrome extension is that you can go ahead on your own, break away from the herd and find sites that nobody else is currently analyzing. So next, I'll be showing you how to tag a new website that isn't currently analyzed by SourceMogul or potentially any other software and allow you to pull down the current pricing and product information from those websites for comparison against Amazon. This is particularly useful for any niche websites. So if you focus on a particular area or a sub niche of an Amazon category, for example, fishing equipment or cycling equipment, you can head to those websites and let SourceMogul pull down that information and do all of the hard work crunching the numbers against Amazon. So let's get cracking. Let's have a look at that. I've headed over to the Cabela's website as a way to demonstrate to you how to set up a website for first use with SourceMogul. So a good place to get started is in the Bargain Cave section of the website. And we can see that we have 211 products here that we can start to analyze against Amazon. So let's get started. Let's click on the Source Mogul S. And this time, instead of clicking on Pre-Map Sites, let's click on Start Tagging. And let's click Start Tagging again to start the process. Okay. So we're now presented with a pop-up that asks us to select the product's title. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's been captured. Now it's asked us to select the image. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Now it's asking us to select the price. Well, let's make sure that we get the right one. So we've got the current price here, not the original price. We've captured that. And now it's going to ask us to select another product title. Now, ideally, it's best to select a product title from another row and another column. This is just to ensure that we're capturing all of the information in the correct way. So let's click on this one here to get that captured too. We can now see that there's a summary of the information. We can see that it's correctly captured the images and the prices from this website. So we're now going to click continue. It's going to tell us what to do next. So let's click okay. And we then need to head back into the Chrome extension to continue. We can see that there's now a notification to say that this site has been configured successfully by the user. So we now have everything we need to start pulling the information down from the website. But before we do that, let's set the page to the maximum number of results per page to save time. So you can see here, I've set it to 96 results and we can now go back into the Chrome extension and click start. So we can see that the Chrome extension is now moving its way down the page, capturing all the information as fast as possible. We've managed to gather 95 products from this first page, and let's click our way through some of the other pages just to see what other information we can get. 
Each time the Chrome extension identifies that you've reached a new page, it will start to scan and pull information down from the website into the Chrome extension. So across two pages, we've managed to pull down 189 products. Now, normally we would continue, but for now, let's just click complete and then click view. We can see that we're now redirected back into Source Mogul, where the search will initialize and eventually those results will be presented back into the results page in the same way as we showed earlier. So, to summarize, the Chrome extension allows you to pull down product information from pretty much any retailer or wholesaler website. That information is pulled down automatically from the page as you scan through the website. It can be really useful for finding last minute or clearance deals. It can also be used on wholesaler websites where you may have an existing relationship with a particular wholesaler. And it can also be used on specialist websites. So the types of websites that are not currently offered by the leading online arbitrage software providers or indeed the types of sites that other Amazon sellers might be taking the time to search themselves. This gives you a huge competitive advantage over other sellers and saves a significant amount of time on analyzing these products manually yourself. So that wraps up the demo of the Source Mogul Chrome extension. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, please get in touch with us via the support channels on the Source Mogul website. Thanks for your time and happy selling.